Hello YouTube. Here's another um, video that Moto Series on the Predator 79cc engine change. Uh, that clutch that's on there now is the Max Torque 10 tooth 41 chain. Um, Put the heat wrap on this exhaust. It, re it really helps keep the heat down. When you're riding it right here under your leg, you can feel some heat, but uh, it doesn't burn you. And uh, you definitely need this heat wrap. This pipe get real hot. It, it'll burn you real easy. Um, I did get one of these performance headers. This is from AR Sport. Now the problem with this one is when it's installed, you can see how it sticks out. A couple inches more than this, uh, this adapter and, uh, two-stroke type pipe and uh, your leg definitely rubs against it um, the heat wrap worked now the problem is I had a one of those little cheap cone Briggs and Stratton style mufflers on here and the problem with those four or five six dollar cone mufflers is they don't hold up to vibrations and they shear off right where the nipple goes into the pipe and then the cone, they, they just break right there. Um, the funny thing too is with this header and an 11 tooth clutch, I actually lost one mile per hour over this setup with the 10 tooth and this exhaust maybe because of back pressure I, I don't know but that setup there I lost them one mile per hour over this setup so whatever now I haven't tried this without the baffle in here that might help still give it some back pressure but anyway uh, oh, I added a speedometer. This is off my uh, two-stroke I had. It's one of those rare ones. Mile per hour instead of kilometers. About all you can find now is kilometers. And this is about... It's about two mile an hour. Off off the phone speedometer app but uh, it's close mm, that's about it uh, pretty much got all the little issues sorted out carburetor it was a float wasn't adjusted right oh I changed the break in oil broke it in and put uh, small engine synthetic 30 weight in there and my tappets are quite noisy on this engine but uh, pretty soon I'm gonna take it off and pull the governor out and when I've got it off then I'll adjust the uh, the rocker arms the valve lash but uh, it's pretty noisy when you start it up but it quiets down um, that's about it. Oh, I added this, uh, chain tensioner. This is off of, uh, one of my old two strokes too. And it seems to work beautiful. It's, uh, this isn't set up to pivot with the spring. It's stationary, but there's a little pop out right here and it rests against the frame for this skateboard wheel. This thing works beautiful. This, 
I'd really recommend you guys upgrade to some kind of skateboard wheel or even a sprocket with a good bearing in it over that yellow plastic thing. That yellow plastic thing really was a lot of problems. I mean, it worked, but it it's, it's just, this is like night and day difference. This thing stays adjusted. I mean, it, that, that other one was just, just a nightmare. This thing works really, really good like this. And uh, that's about it for now. Uh, yeah, that's about it. I'm going to uh, do a ride video. If I can find my uh, helmet cam adapter for my helmet. But uh, anyway, that's about it. I will uh, check with you later.